Once child boards and 3D bodies have been added, you can completely assemble your device. Ultium Designer's multi-board assembly editor uses the concept of mechanical mating between two objects, which allows you to form an assembly by taking all of the physical features of your design into account. But before we start to define the mates, best practice dictates we move the boards closer together. Once you select any non-fixed object, it will be highlighted, and a gizmo tool will appear at its origin. This tool displays the XYZ coordinate axes of the selected object. Gizmos are composed of arrows and arcs. By clicking on one of the gizmo axes and holding down the mouse button, the selected object will move in the direction of the selected axis and only in that direction. In addition, you can freely move elements of the assembly without restriction in any direction. To do this, hold down the mouse button anywhere on the object, careful not to select the gizmo tool. Then move the object to the desired location. Gizmos also allow you to rotate boards on any of the axes. To rotate an object, click and hold the desired arc in the gizmo and rotate the object to the desired angle. Notice that when the rotation angle is a multiple of 90 degrees, the board automatically snaps to that angle for a more convenient assembly. A single click on an arc will also rotate the board by 90 degrees. If you want to rotate the board freely without snapping, hold down the shift key while rotating. To enter mate's placement mode, activate the mating tool through the tool's mating menu or through the active bar. Once activated, a notification will appear in the status bar. A mate is a connection formed between two separate objects. The connection is at a user-selected point on a surface on each object. Once mated, the objects will reorient so their surface planes and their perpendicular axes are also aligned. When hovering the cursor over any suitable flat surface, you will see a set of nine points showing potential mating locations. After defining the two surfaces that will be mated, these points will be used to mate the objects together. Select the appropriate point of the mating target with a mouse click. After selecting the surface, the selected plane will be highlighted with a green color. If you accidentally select the wrong mating point, you can set a new point just by clicking on it. Then by using a similar approach, you need to specify a connection point on the other object, after which the mate between these objects will be created. In addition to mating flat surfaces together, you can also define axial mating using the same tool and approach. To create a mate, specify a target point first, and then select a point on the other object. The mates can be customized using the Properties panel. You can set the mating type, the distance between the mating points, the X or Y axis shift, the plane orientation, and the rotation of the object relative to the mating point. The Help section of this panel contains a summary of useful keyboard shortcuts that will allow you to quickly position the boards in the assembly while minimizing mouse clicks. Use the up and down arrows to fine tune the mating distance. To define a shift from the mating point, use the control key combination together with the arrow to specify the direction. Control T will rotate the board 180 degrees relative to the anchor point, effectively flipping it. The spacebar will rotate the board 90 degrees relative to the anchor point while maintaining its current plane. In addition to PCB models, you can create mates for external 3D models. This allows you to create a complete device assembly without leaving Altium Designer. The approach to mating these is completely identical. If you are having trouble configuring mates due to the complexity of your design, you can use the Section View feature. We can quickly control the visibility of the cross-sectional planes with the Toggle Section View tool. After toggling the visibility, three section planes will appear in the workspace along with an object gizmo. With this, we can quickly adjust the desired position of the cross-section. The View Configuration panel is used for more complete and flexible control of the section planes. The Invert Cutout option changes the cut side for all planes simultaneously. It makes it possible to adjust the cross-section so that it comes from the opposite side of the device. Also, in this panel, we can change the cut side for each plane individually or completely disable sectioning in the specific planes. After adjusting the cross-section mode as desired, we recommend exiting the section editing mode. To lock it in, set the section view parameter to the on position. After activating it, the section planes will not be visible in the work area and you will be able to create the desired mating regardless of complexity. If the section is no longer needed, it can be turned off by setting the section view parameter to the off position. You can also toggle the section view by clicking on the eponymously named button in the active bar. Mates can be reconfigured or deleted if they are no longer needed. 
All mates are shown in the mates drop-down list in the multi-board assembly panel. After selecting an established mate, we can edit its parameters in the properties panel just as we did when it was created. Also, when selecting a mate, the planes associated with the mated objects become visible. Note that mated components can only be moved as part of the completed assembly. If a mate is no longer needed, it can easily be removed. This can be done by right-clicking on the desired mate and selecting the Remove Mate option, or by selecting it and pressing the Delete key. After that, the object will be freed from the assembly and can be moved to any location desired.